Hi everyone. What's up? So I was thinking about making a robot using a microcontroller and DC motor but there was some problem. The problem was we cannot directly connect a motor with a microcontroller. If we do that we'll be murdering the microcontroller. So how can we run a motor using microcontroller? We can use MOSFET, but by using a single MOSFET we can only run the motor in one direction. For rotating the motor in both direction we can utilize a circuit slash setup called H-bridge circuit which consists of two MOSFET switches. Blah 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 this is boring, I'm gonna uncomplicate things now. So for driving a motor with a microcontroller we can use a motor driver which have a motor driver IC and inside this IC there's the H-bridge setup so we can just hook this motor driver with our microcontroller and high low its pin or send PWM signal to increase or decrease the speed of our motor. Pretty easy huh? This is a motor driver L298N and you can buy it from eBay or Amazon. You can run all sorts of motor with this motor driver. For example, you can move this robot head using a motor and its driver. You can run this helicopter using this motor driver. You can move the CD tray mechanism. Basically you can run any DC motor with this motor driver. But how can we use this motor driver? On now I will connect the motor driver with our microcontroller so observe carefully fellow comrades. It have two enable pin one for left motor and other for right. Then it have four pins. Two of those pins are for left and other two are for right. And we gonna use total three pins one enable and other two pins. In order to run the motor at its full speed, enable pin should get 5 volts. If we send an PWM signal of less than 5 volts we can increase or decrease the speed of our motor. Other two pins are actually output pins. If we high one pin and low the other one motor will rotate in one direction. By reversing this process, low the first one and high the second one, motor will rotate in opposite direction. And that's the explanation part, let's do some practical shit. So now I'll be connecting this motor driver with a microcontroller using jumper wires. First, I'm connecting enable a pin to pin 10 of the microcontroller. After this, connect enable B to pin 11 of microcontroller. Now connect output pin 1 and 2 of the motor driver to pin 2 and 3 of the microcontroller. Then connect output pin 3 and 4 of the motor driver to pin 4 and 5 of the microcontroller. Now for powering the whole setup, we can use battery up to 12 volts. This motor driver have an inbuilt voltage regulator which can buff 12 volts into 5 volts. There's an 5 volts out pin which we can use to power our microcontroller. Just connect this pin to 5 volts pin or VCC of the microcontroller and ground pin will be common. Now let's connect the battery with the motor driver. And as you can see our microcontroller is getting power from that 5 volts pin. Just follow this setup and you're good. Now let's run this setup. I already have connected motor to our setup and added a Bluetooth module through which I can control the movement of the motor. And as you can see our setup is working. And that's how you can use L298N motor driver to make cool motorized projects. Leave a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't. See ya everyone and I will see you next time. Sayonara.